Hello and welcome to the Wellbeing Showcase, our Soulful Sunday series of um, videos introducing you to some awesome, awesome people in and around Enfield and Greater London and some of the great work that they do. Today we've got Stacey Lee who is an incredible artist um, and just has some beautiful, beautiful work to share with us um, around finding your identity around adults and youth work. So without further ado, Stacey, tell us a little bit about yourself and the work that you do and you know what inspired you to get involved. So I refer to myself, I guess, as a UK-based Trinidadian artist. And I use art to create social change. My core belief is that people who are confident and happy they want to share that. They go out there and they want other people to feel that way as well. So the more people that I can make confident and happy through my art is the more I can create a nice ripple effect that will hopefully create a tidal wave and I'll be making a better world. Grand ideals for art, I suppose, but um, you have to start somewhere. Um, and so I work at two levels. I work at an individual level through my life story art. And that's about building personal confidence and creativity. And I see creativity as a tool for resilience. So, you know, life will inevitably knock you down. And then this is a way to, for you to get back up. And then I also work in terms of I do teaching. So I teach at university, but I also um, do workshops as, with my company. And that is geared towards creatives and also children and young people. Um, I've done work with community groups as well so um, I've just finished a commission working with we p usually pick 20 winners and they, the young kids see their art age 5 to 15 they'll see their art on the program cover for the local arts festival and it goes through all the letter boxes and they see it and they're like oh that's my bit and that's my bit because I combine all their work into one um, I've done work that I refer to as school of mass and that's primarily with British Caribbean children who have that mixed heritage um, many of whom have never been to the Caribbean and so they struggle to feel that connection and to understand the value that they bring with that mix because I, I really do think that children who have a foot in multiple cultures can bring the best of both worlds together um, and this is just for them to see look this is what this is one of, one of the things that makes me unique this is one of the things that makes me amazing and I usually use carnival because again creativity creates resilience and carnival also gives an opportunity to communicate particularly for children that in a way that doesn't involve words so that gives them some more space some more agency um, without having to find the words to say what they want to say and how they feel so yeah those are the kind of the two the two or three ways i should say I work through individual commissions bespoke commissions community projects and workshops phenomenal because you know it, it's something that today I think for youth and adults is creativity is something that people sort of put on the side you know go be a doctor be an accountant be something like yeah. that and people don't recognize the value of creativity and how important it is to express one's identity and I just I love the fact that you brought in there the uniqueness because people don't realize as well just how you know so two different seemingly clashing cultures actually creates well it's not just the cultures so for me I and this is one of the things I enjoy when I teach at the universities I teach art students and what I really believe is that every person on this planet has something that is unique that only they can contribute and the world needs that and if you never bring it out if you never contribute it we've all lost out because only you could do that the way you could so that's why there can be a million people who paint and do mixed media like I do but we all do it a little bit differently we all do it in a way that will reach different people it will you know send a different message and all of those things are needed. Everybody has something to contribute. And if I can be part of helping anybody figure out what their contribution is and why they should put themselves out there to put their contribution forward, then yeah, I'm in. 
and you know you've got such a wide range of work as well and you know such a very thing you know is, is there one particular sort of piece of work or one sort of activity or workshop that stands out in your mind as sort of going you know this is the one that sticks <laughs> no i would say so uh, this is where it's going to sound a little bit woo woo but <laughs> We're in the right place. <laughs> yeah. So the thing for me, I'm I am an artist. I'm a fine artist. Um, but I did grow up in a land of carnival, so I, I can get into the whole design and costume and street theatre production, that kind of stuff, and I really love that. Um, but for me, the real thing is, I really love to bring joy. I get very excited by seeing. You know, when somebody receives their commission, somebody's commissioned this for, my, for mom for her 80th birthday and mom receives it and they send me a video of her going, that's me and this is when I did this and this is when I did that. And she's seen her life matter and how much she's accomplished and all the challenges she's overcome and, you know, just feeling really moved by that and, and basically seeing her progress because that's something we don't do. We kind of focus on what we haven't achieved yet not looking back and seeing, look, we started all the way back there and look how far we've already come. So, you know, it's sometimes it's worth knowing I've, I've done all of this stuff. I have, and I'm not where I need to be yet. There's still work to be done, but let's take a moment and look and see, oh my God, look at how much you've done already and just celebrate that for a bit. So for me, having people have that experience, that joy of seeing themselves in a positive light, seeing themselves and recognizing, hey, I did this once, I can do it again. Or I didn't know this about myself or any of those things. However, I can make that happen, whether it's a community art project, whether it's teaching at a university, whether it's running a workshop or doing a life story art piece, that's it. that will get my jollies going. <laughs> I mean, that carnival spirit is just there and it's, you know, it's beautiful. And I think, the, the key thing that sort of stands out for me is reflection and that is so important yeah. for one's well-being as well because as I say hindsight is 2020 when you're in the middle of something you don't see the wood for the trees but when no you don't back you then see the bigger picture you see the story how things have unfolded and you know so and that's, that visually <laughs> no i was gonna say that's the whole point of the life story art so i always say the life story art is to create uh three hours to remind you you know look how far you've come look what you've accomplished to help you reflect because depending on usually they're commissioned as gifts though i have had people say this is my gift to myself <laughs> and ordered it for that which is i mean we really do need to engage in a lot of self-care these days um, so, yeah, so you reflect on, you know, this is my style, this is my personality. Um, sometimes there's even their skills and knowledge and abilities hidden in there. Because I work in uh, mixed media, I can have multiple layers. And what I like is that you, I, I did fight up with the idea of giving people a sheet of paper that literally said, okay, these are all the symbols hidden in your thing. And they, they see them and they know them because it's their life. Yeah. Whereas other people coming and seeing them have no idea what that little slipper KFC box means or that little ticket stub from here means, or, you know, oh, I can see there's Japan in there, but they don't know what that means to you until you tell them, until you share it. Mm -hmm. And so this is a, a reflection of your best self. And then finally, it's a rallying cry because when you see how much you've done, how much you've overcome, when you see your personality laid out, when you get up every morning and there's this painting that is like a mirror saying, yo, check me out. <laughs> That's supposed to say to you, look, you've done that once. You can do that again. You've, you know, you look, look, look at what you're capable of. Look at who you are. Remember that. Go out then, you know, do it. So that is the reflection aspect is big. And so, the process of life story art, I usually ask people lots of questions because in, in about an hour, I'm trying to get to know them as well as their best friends. The nice aspect about it is if it's a gift, this is, this is like an extra component, you also get 
how somebody else sees you and all the reasons that they love you because nobody's commissioning this for you if they don't love you. <laughs> so, and so you get that extra layer in there that says, you might look in the mirror and see all your flaws and see all the things you haven't done and all the things that you need to do better. And, oh, I should, you know, exercise more. I should do this. Look at this. Da, 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 da. And you have all, we can pick out every flaw with ease. And the life story art is, this is how somebody else is. You're busy looking at your flaws. When somebody's looking at all your positives, this is what they see. And that is just to give you a different point of view, to kind of spin you around and put you, all right, instead of facing the negative, now face this way and see that because you're not looking at that and you need to see that too. Which is not to say that you don't do work on yourself, but you also need to remember where you're doing well. Exactly. And, you know, and this is the kind of thing where, you know, you, you, you can look at something and go, yeah, I did that well. But when somebody else says to you, yeah, did you, it suddenly has a completely different meaning where you sort of go, damn, yes. <laughs> yes. It's like, you really think so? Okay. <laughs> I think when people see the paintings, because I've had, you know, like sons do it for their mum um grandchildren get it for their grandmother um children get it for a parent's anniversary and different things like that a 40th birthday one woman got it because she exited an abusive relationship and she just wanted a way to commemorate that and so her piece was done in three parts and it was kind of painful at the start but by the end it was like you know power and so every morning when she gets up it's like i've done that journey I've made that transition. And just to remind, I'm not going back there. <laughs> so those kinds of, that, that kind of work, getting to know people, getting to know their stories, getting to, to show them their fabulousness and bring them that joy of, wow, look at me. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's really exciting for me. Yeah, and that is such a beautiful gift to give someone as well. It is. So I usually say it's the gift for somebody who has everything. And, and these days, a lot of people have lots of stuff. Um, so it's usually hard to think, well, what don't they have? And um, I, I can usually tell you if they've had one. Because <laughs> so, as far as I know, I'm the only person that does life story art the way I do. And um, so, yeah, you, you guaranteed that no one else will give them the gift that you're giving. <laughs> So if, if people want to get in touch with you, you know, and yeah, and talk to you and maybe, you know, sort of commission something, how would they get in touch with you? So consultations are free, right? You call, you ask, you know, size, you know, we, we can go through the whole thing and I can give you an idea of what this might be, what size, et cetera, and we work out prices that way. Um, the way to get in touch with me is via my website, the easiest way. So that's bylee.com, B Y l e i g h dot com or you can follow me on instagram or facebook at bylee art b y l e i g h a r t all one word fantastic and just you know so for anyone who's watching if, if you could give sort of one one thing they should know one pearl of wisdom um for them to take away from all you know everything you do what, what would that be um i would say sometimes look back sometimes look back at where you were five years ago where you were one year ago and where you are now and just pick out the things that you hadn't achieved before and now you have Things that now they're easy for you, but before you would have, you know, to do that. <laughs> um, just look back and celebrate what you've accomplished so far. And that's your battery. That's your fuel to go further. That is absolutely beautiful. Stacey, it's been so lovely chatting with you. Um, if, if I had my way, I would do it all day. <laughs> <laughs> But unfortunately, our time is up, and you know, so thank you so much. So, if somebody wants to get hold of you through the website, follow you on Instagram, and you know, yep. uh, 
And I would say definitely I'm looking forward to seeing and hearing more. And <laughs> wow, just thank you for bringing this work to the world in your own unique way. <laughs> and thank you for having me on your Soulful Sunday. It's I'm really pleased to be given the opportunity. <laughs> it's my absolute pleasure. <laughs> Thanks, Stacey. Take care. Okay, bye. bye.